goes on Stitched up tight and can't shake free Love is a drug, got a hook on me Oh, catch that buzz Love is the drug, I'm thinking now Oh, can't you see Love is the drug Hi guys, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, Trinity Drums, Rock and Pop Drums, Grade 3, the song Love is the Drug by Roxy Music. Um, this song got to number 2 in 1975. Um, let's have a little look through it. So this one has a one and a half bar count in, so it goes one, two, three, four, one, two, then you play your fill, the first written fill on here, which says snares off. Quite difficult to have the snares off and then I wouldn't worry too much about having the snares off for now okay um, on your snare drum just play it with your normal snare drum that's fine and the fill starts on the third beat of that second bar counting and it's four semi quavers so it's three e and a four so three e and a four okay so if it's going one two three four one two da 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 three e and a four okay so that's that, and then we're into our main beat. Now this for a grade three piece is fairly um, simple beat-wise. It just has a few small elements to it which can kind of trip you up, which kind of push you into that grade three bracket. The main beat is just a kind of standard um, rock beat with a bass drum on the one and the three, the snare drums on the two and the four, and the eighth note hi-hats running uh, over the top. On each every other bar, it has a three and for the bass drum. So one, two, three, and four. And on the four here, we play the hi-hat goes to playing an open hi-hat and a quarter note. So it takes up that whole space from four until the beginning of the next bar, the one of the next bar. So you'll hear me playing it in the video that I've recorded, which will be after me talking here. Um, but it, that that is a repeating feature of this song all the way through the verses and the bridge, pretty much the entire song, apart from the ending, which I'll get to, has that open hi-hat on the fourth beat of every other bar. Okay, so it's something that you really need to work on. Um, you'll see me playing it. Uh, and after each of those open hi-hats on the first beat of the bar, for each two-bar phrase, there's a crash as well. So there's quite a lot of crashes in this and the open hi-hats. So it's worth, worth um, get, making sure that you get those nice and nice and tight Get them really down and make sure that you're playing every single one. Um, that 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 beat happens from the beginning of the song all the way through to bar 24. Um, then we have the bridge. Now, actually, it does continue here. It says sim two bar groove, which means you're basically playing basically the same thing. Um, you can play around a bit a little bit there to um, add in your own flavor. Just make sure that you're keeping it into, in the same feel, the same style, and giving it the same kind of flow as previously. Or you can play the same thing, that's absolutely fine. Um, then in bar 32, we have, a, it stops on the one, and we have a tom fill, um, made up of semi-quavers and quavers, which sounds like this. So it's one, two, da, 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 which you'll hear me play in the video. And that's on the high tom. Or the first tom and then after that we go into the ending of the song which um, is a um, half time feel so it goes on to the ride symbol and the way it gives a half time feel without changing the tempo of the song which sorry is 124 beats per minute so it goes into a half time feel what that means is that the snare drums have moved instead of being on two and four there's just one snare drum per bar and it's on the third beat so instead of going from one two three four one, two, three, four. We have the snare drum on the, on the three. So it'd be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Which gives us a feel of it being half time. Um, but the tempo, the actual tempo of the song can stay the same. Um, 
The ride cymbal goes down to playing quarter notes in this, and there is an offbeat bass drum. So it's one and three, one two, and three. So the bass drum is on the and after two, the, on the one and on the and after two. So it's one and three on the snare. One and three, one and three, okay? So that can be quite tricky because you've got to play that and, the bass drum, in between hitting those notes on the ride, which are just on one, two, three, four. So that's going to take a little bit of practice because what your body naturally wants to do is bring down its your hand and the foot at the same time. So what you may find if it's the first time that you've played this is that when you go to do your bass drum on the and after two, two and, your hand might come down at the same time on the ride. So you're playing an extra ride note, which we don't want. We want to keep that ride nice and consistent on one, two, three, four. Watch the video and you'll see me playing it and um, have a go at doing it. And then when we're back in September, we can work on it um, face to face uh, a little bit more uh, in depth. Um, there's also a little fill in this section in the fourth bar of that halftime fill, which is bar 36. And it's on the snare drum and the high tom and the floor tom. Um, and it starts on the on the and after two again. So it's one, two, and three, and four. And three, and four. And the first two on the snare drum, and three, high tom, and floor tom, four. One, two, and three, and four. Okay, you'll see me playing it and you'll hear what I mean, hopefully. And then at the end of the song, we've got um, these uh, crash accents, which are on the and after two, and then a little snare fill. So it goes one, two, and, so you hit the crashes there. So it's crash, snare, crash, one, two, and. And then the little snare drum fill you play is and three, and four, sorry. So it's one, two, and, and four. One, two, and, and four. Okay, do that again. One, two, and, and four. One, two, and, and four. And then it plays, it does that twice, and in the, third bar of the little ending section in bar 41 it goes one two and and four on the crash again and then finish on the one with a crash okay that's quite difficult to kind of explain that without you watching the video but go and watch the video and the last you'll see in the last four bars of the song you'll see those fills starting to happen and you can see me playing them on the crash okay so have a go at that have some fun playing it Make sure that you are going to recap, make sure you're doing the crashes at the beginning of each two bar phrase in the verses. Make sure you're doing the open hi-hats on the fourth beat of the second bar of those two bar phrases. You'll see with me playing it. And the halftime feel, try to make sure that the bass drum on the and after two, you're not hitting the ride at the same time. It's the bass drum on its own, okay? And it's quite tricky, but as I say, when we're back in September, we can work on it a little bit more. This is just a video just to get you started on um, thinking about it and trying to play through it at home on your kit if you have one there. Okay, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in September. Thanks, bye-bye.